Mike and Eric joining me here. Let's talk about Chris Joe since we can't hear from him. What improvements have you seen from freshman to sophomore year? We know the improvement is there. It's almost built in because you learn how to play at the college level. What have you specifically seen from him that has made him so much improvement? Well, David, both you and I were at Seton Hall where Jim Beheim famously compares Chris Joseph to Paul Harris. Guy shoots 18% from the three-point line and suddenly right. thinks, thinks he's a three-point long shooter, ball. Yeah. What he's been emphatic on, I guess, throughout the years, that Chris Joseph needs to get to the rim if the Orange want to be successful, especially in Big East play, and that's exactly what he has been doing, and that's why the Orange have been successful. That's why he's been successful. He's more confident with his game. The guy might be the best dunker on the team after Wes. He's a grinder, and he's going to get in there and pound it out with anyone, even though he's not as tall as the typical big man. That hasn't stopped him from driving in and going up and taking it strong at these big guys. It goes right at him, too. He saw this George on the game. There's times where he went right at these guys, hung in the air, and he's found a way to finish. He's turned into such a great finisher. He's also become smart with the ball. There's times last year where he wasn't confident with the ball. He wouldn't know exactly what to do when he was out there. Now when he goes, he goes to the rim with a purpose. All right, so enough talking about him. Let's hear from him. And uh, finally, did you notice the, the cardboard cutouts? Yeah, yeah, I noticed them. Uh, thanks. At Notre Dame, I, I seen a couple. I seen Heron Goldie, you know, the dude, uh, hands bro. They had a couple cutouts. And I, I asked Wes, I said, well, are we gonna, one of our fans going to give us a couple cutouts, man. Next thing you know, we see Bayheim, and then we're like, oh, there go Bayheim in the cardboard cutout. Then Wes was there, Coach Fine was up there. So it's fun seeing things like that, seeing the fans do stuff like that is always fun. 